a remote small factory receives 40 kilowatts of electric power. From a 240 volt supply, the power supply to the small factory is from a nearby transformer that is connected to long distance transmission cables. The voltage of the transmission cables is very much larger than 240 volts. Explain why energy losses in the transmission cables are lower when the voltage is high. To answer this question, we must first understand how electric energy is transmitted. On your left, this is a power station that produces electric energy. On your right, this is the consumer. Between the power station and the consumer, there are the transmission cables. These transmission cables heat up, causing power loss. That's why not all the electric energy produced from the power station reaches the home. A lot of power and energy are lost in the cables as heat. The reason for the heating up of the cables is the large electric current. That's why we add transformers. A step-up transformer on your left after the power station increases the voltage to high values, so the current decreases to low values. Electricity is transmitted in the cables with low current intensity. This reduces the power lost as heat. So when he asks explain why energy losses in the transmission cables are lower when the voltage is high, we can answer high current heats up cables and causes power loss. P equals I square R. This is the mathematical formula of the power loss in the cables. Low current means less power loss as heat in the cables. For a power supply, transmitting energy with high voltage means low current, and hence less power loss as heat in the cables. Here are three marks. Mentioning that high voltage means lower current for a given power supply, and mentioning that lower current means less heat or thermal energy loss in the cables. Also mentioning that cables are heated by the current, these are the three marks. Actually, we said that high current heats up cables, this is one mark. We also mentioned that low current means less power loss, this is the second mark. And we mentioned that high voltage means low current, this is the third mark. This is a complete answer for the question.